guys, welcome back to Rose Wolf. Today is June 3rd? Yep, June 3rd. Saturday, June 3rd. How you guys doing? It's raining again. It's been raining so darn much in my town, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Um, and I was kind of looking forward to it not raining because it's now June and we can do a couple things in June with, like, you know, bugs and stuff. Maybe I should spend today fishing. I just realized I should probably do that on stream, though. Anyway. Uh, my friend Crystal, I found myself wondering something out of the blue. How is Crystal doing? So, I thought I'd send you a note to find out. Sometimes it's nice to write a letter from Curious O'Hare. I don't appreciate that bunny enough. <laughs> I really don't. Anyways, apologies ahead of time if I sound kind of, um, stuffed up. I am suffering from pretty, uh, pretty gross allergies today, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway, um, let's... Do our usuals, find fossils. We're probably going to find a whole lot of gyroids today again as well. Uh, I want to put up the wind turbine because a lot of you actually really liked the placement of it close to the plaza. So do I, actually. And then, uh, and then, yeah, after that, I think we may... You know, I'm not even sure yet. I think we may just do some Club LOL and shopping because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I wish this rain would end soon. I envy you running around in this mess like you don't care, Crystal. Today I thought I'd try something a little different and wear some basic clothes, but the tag is itching so bad I can hardly stand it anymore. I'm freaking out. Oh, Gaston. You're a cutie. And O'Hare, my other bunny. Uh, I'm hoping you can help me with my latest fascination, ocean fish. Alright, can I catch you a coelacanth? Because if I can, I will. Uh, I have to have one. Any kind. As long as it's from the ocean. Will you catch me one? Yes. I wonder if he'd be more happy if I caught him a rare fish. Probably not. The game probably doesn't take that into consideration, but it'd still be kind of funny to do. Um, okay, so Page. Ooh! What? When did you get here? <laughs> That's kind of random. Not gonna complain, though. Oh, and Pajmina wants her time capsule, apparently. Let's just put this here. Pajmina, I have something for you because I'm just telepathic and I knew that you wanted it. Oh, my time capsule? Nice timing. I just think I should dig it up. Let's have a look. See? I knew. I knew. Oh, a grape tea. I can tell I put a lot of thought into this time capsule. And check it out. It's a letter from my younger self. Future Pashmina, I was messing around in the garden the other day and I got all muddy. You know how much we hate doing laundry? Well, I'm afraid this is your problem now from your younger self. Wow, I was so immature back then, so unlike the refined lady I am now. Pashmina, you asked me to bury this last week. Okay, I'm thinking you are my- oh gosh, you're giving me the thing that you put in the time capsule, seriously? Man, she just didn't want it anymore. She tried to throw it out, I buried it for her, and now she's just mad that she got it back, so she's giving it to me. Okay, so there's three of our villagers talked to for today. Robin is chilling. Oh, we have an extra... Wait, do we I always have that extra orange? See, the thing is, I'm not really sure because it's been raining so much in Rosewolf that I know that we're going to have a lot of, like, random, um... Uh... Hybrid combination flowers. Hi, Robin. Well, if it isn't Crystal, welcome. What would you like to talk about? I have a little interior design problem. I'm hoping you can help me figure it out. There's a teeny bit of space in here I'd like to fill it with something. Short or tall, I don't care. I just can't take up much floor space. Maybe a small chair or a little plant or a trash bin? Can you bring me something small like that that looks good with my other things? Sure, why not? Okay, so there's a robin. Let's go see if we can find 
our other fossils. I think somebody was saying... Oh, we already have the stink bug. Uh, I think somebody was saying that my last fossil was in front of the lighthouse, I think someone said. So I'm going to be looking around here extra carefully. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, to be honest, but... I don't see anything... Oh, no, there's one. Is this the one you guys were talking about? Thank you if it was. Regardless if it wasn't, still thank you anyway, because I probably wouldn't have looked so hard if I hadn't thought something might be there. Uh, okay. So let's continue back around here, go the way that we usually go. I still, like, I don't know. I kind of want it to be sunny because it's, it's summer in game now, right? But at the same time, part of me really, uh, really wants to- oh, hello. Really enjoys the, the rainy day music. I've been thinking about something. Whatever happened with that campaign promise of yours? You said that if we voted, you should, uh, blah, 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 moist statue. Okay. Oh, hair. Seriously, why do you suggest every single public works project I get? Every single one he suggests. It's so strange. For, for, we sort of forced you to be mayor. Oh my goodness, he's self-aware. All right, so there is another public works. Whoops. There's another public works project that we could possibly build. I don't know if I'm going to build that one. I don't know if I ever have, now that I think about it. Really, though, I'd like um, Bob to start suggesting more public works projects because he's a lazy villager, and lazy villagers suggest the playground stuff, I believe. Gosh darn, no more of these have <laughs> sprouted up yet. Actually, I just got a delivery that was addressed to Bob. Oh my goodness, I'll do it. I'll take it. Let me do it. I will so do it. Yes, please. No problem. <laughs> now I just have to find him, because I know he isn't in his house right now. Also, I don't know if this really helps or not. I just get in the habit of watering these. Um, gosh darn it, Melba. <laughs> um... Even when it's raining. I don't think it's going to do anything. I don't think we're going to breed any hybrids from doing this while it rains, but oh well. Uh, there's another fossil? Gyroid, never mind. The spot where uh, Celia's house was is actually covering up very quickly. If you just leave it and don't do anything to it, like, you don't even have to put flowers there. It covers itself pretty darn fast. Like, give it, like, a month or so and it's, it's like, you know, pretty much back to normal. No, nothing? Okay. Uh, Peggy or Shep, are you guys in? No, neither of them. That makes me kind of sad. Uh, I think it was Peggy who we didn't get to talk to the other day. I rarely see her, even in my off days. I think she might be one of those villagers that just, for some reason, likes hanging around, um, like the museum or, or shops or whatever. How's it going, Bob? Okay, so I have something for you first off. Oh yeah, a package from me is delivered mistakenly, or mistakenly delivered to Melba? Hmm, I wonder what it is. Don't be a shirt, don't be a shirt. I like your shirt right now, buddy. Oh, you sell it without opening it? Sure. Okay, so at that price I'm guessing it probably isn't a shirt and it's gonna be something a bit more along the lines of furniture, but we'll see. You can generally tell from the price, at least so far as I've noticed. Thank you, Bob. Let me talk to you again. I saw a special on TV about the most delicious looking fruit, the apple. I was drooling just watching it. I really want one, but I guess they don't- <sighs> Gosh, Bob, wait like a day, baby, and then they'll be in town because I planted them a couple days ago. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it for you, buddy. Maybe I'll do that later on on stream, we'll see. Which, by the way, I am streaming today around 4pm EST so far. I may start a little bit later, We're, I'm not really sure yet just because uh, 
currently it is coming out for 3 p.m. and I go live at 4 and I still have to edit and upload this, so... Oh, there's a kitty bookcase. That's cute. Okay. Let's see here. Nothing there, and I don't think there's anything in these that I need. Ooh, which reminds me, um... The villager who I was planning on getting. I don't think anyone has guessed this villager successfully. Uh, but I will say that one of my mods has him available and he's planning on moving out. So I'm kind of hoping that Wolfgang wants to leave sometime soon. Because Wolfgang is the next one who is probably going to be moving out. In terms of villagers who actually want to leave. <laughs> Not because I hate Wolfgang or anything. Don't get me wrong. He's a nice villager. I just- I already have Gaston as my cranky villager. Thank you guys very much for correcting me last episode. And I don't know. I've had Wolfgang like maybe three times now and I'm kind of ready for uh, an entirely new villager who I have not actually had before. And there's our final fossil. Awesome. But yeah, part of me really wants O'Hare to stop suggesting public works projects. And then the other half of me is completely fine with it. Oh, hi, Mac. How's it going, buddy? Today's so just a regular work at day. No special events are going on. But you gotta make sure you don't have sore muscles on days when we do have special events going on. Oh, buddy. Are you serious? I never work out. <laughs> I am lazy. Okay, nothing around here. I know that I've already found all four fossils. I'm actually just kind of looking for like uh, lost items or more gyroids, that kind of stuff. Oh, Katrina's here. Awesome. We'll go talk to her once we're done sweeping around town, which will be in just a minute anyway. Hello there. Another gyroid. With how much it's been raining it doesn't really surprise me. I need to finish off these trees over here and finish with the the path, but that won't be for a little while. Alright, let's go say hello to Katrina. I'm pretty sure we're getting kind of close to having her come to our town permanently. Like, we've been visiting her pretty much every single week. Give or take. And I believe it's- she has to have- or rather, you have to have your fortune read by her. I believe it's 20 times before she can move in. A relaxing salon quietly opens for business. The bags under the customer's eyes slowly disappear as they nap. In this place I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon health. Basic accessories. This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Are my glasses basic or are they official looking? I can't remember. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Okay, I think she would have said something if I was already wearing uh, the right type of accessory or in different cases clothing or whatever. So, never mind. <laughs> okay. Let's go, uh, let's go have these fossils assessed. Uh, I think we need to talk to Nook to set up our next payment for our loan. For the basement, I believe. I can't remember. Um, I might want to update my dream address, although I might do that on stream later. And then after that... Shopping. After we sell everything, of course. <laughs> Else we will not have room for anything. Uh, assess a fossil, please. Hmm, no 
thank you. Okay, let's head out. Back into the rain. I feel bad for my villager. She's probably so waterlogged right now. <laughs> Actually, let's put away my, uh, my shovel. I just like having my uh, pockets somewhat organized, but that's just me. Perfect. It doesn't even really matter. I'm gonna sell them all anyway. <laughs> Okay, so let's head down here. Another thing I should probably do on stream today is also go to the island. Uh, I think I'm just gonna be doing single player on stream today, but I should probably go to the island and see if I can get any bushes for around a police station, because we didn't manage to find any last time. Okay, let's sell this stuff. And since we're so close by, I think instead of going shopping immediately, we're just gonna go and uh, put up the wind turbine, which you guys have helped me decide where to place it. I think- I can't remember usernames once again, so thank you very much for your suggestion. But somebody mentioned that the folding chair public works project, uh, it's- I have it in my other town, so I know that it's two spaces long and then one wide. Oh, uh, I seem to recall you saying you wanted a baby- Oh, yes I do, that's so cute. Melba, why do you give the best gifts? You are awesome. Anyway, uh, somebody mentioned that the folding chair would actually fit in that spot and it would be perfectly even on all sides. Super tempting, but like, I don't know how I feel about a chair just like in the middle of like, you know, a, a flower bed, which I want to keep there, because I really like the look of that area. I don't know, I'm I'm still peeved that I can't place a house there, to be honest. Oh, I already have a baby bear. Oh well, I have another one upstairs, I guess. <laughs> baby bear in each room. And this room is still really just a mess right now. <laughs> There we go. I wish I could put him, like, on the bed or something. That'd be really cute, but I can't. Oh well. Okay, mm let's go talk to Isabel. Properly this time. Um... I don't- yeah, she won't want to do a ceremony, right. Uh, so that's good, we won't have to go through that, I guess, cutscene, if you would call it that. Right, I'm sorry, Isabel, but I am about to drag you out into that rainstorm. It's nothing personal, I just want to do mayoral business, I swear. Part of me actually wants to try and fit this fence here, because I think that's three square... You know what? Just out of curiosity, let me... let me try it. I just want to see if it would actually fit <laughs> evenly. Um, if it doesn't, you know, no worries. I actually kind of like the, um... the wind turbine in that spot anyway. But I always have the Fence Public Works project in pretty much all of my towns. I just don't know where I'd put it in this one. Bob, what are you doing up there, buddy? You trying to camouflage in a differently colored flower? Uh, wait a minute. Would it actually take up this entire space? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute, you guys. Just wait. Okay, wait. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Would she let us, though? Gosh darn it, Event Plaza, get out of my face. Oh, I know, I know, I know, it's fine. We'll stick with the wind turbine. <laughs> I hate the Event Plaza, that is like... my personal pet peeve now. Oh, 
Oh gosh darn it. Isabel, why don't you give me the option to go back to Town Hall with you? Why must you do this to me? Why have you left me alone in the rain? It's probably because I dragged her out into the rain, but regardless, you know. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> I got a little bit distracted. It would be awesome if that would fit, but oh well. Because I think it was... The inside is three squares wide, but then there's two squares on the outside for where the fence actually is. So that would be five squares, and that, that little space there is five squares wide. So that would have been, like, perfect, but... Oh well. Okay, wind turbine. Let's not get distracted. There it is. Alright, okay, so we definitely don't have enough bells for it today, but I'll earn them in no time. Okay, so wind turbine. Uh, it isn't exactly even in this space, and I know some people were saying to, like, just move this path up a bit. I don't want to do that because this intersection right here, it's far too perfect for me to change anything. So yeah, I think, um, this spot, like, closer, yeah, there we go. I think that would work. Because it's going to be right where Isabel is. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it's cute. And you know what? Because the wind turbine is there, I don't believe any villagers are going to be able to move in that spot anyway. Along, you know, obviously with the event plaza. So I think I'm safe to pick up those um, path tiles. I'm going to run that by Arcadus first, though, <laughs> just to make sure that it'll be safe. Last thing we need is a villager moving into a bad spot there. Yeah, no, because the only 3x3 three three area that they can possibly fit is right here, and it's touching this, so it wouldn't... I think I'm safe. I think I'm good. Okay, um... Let's go do some shopping. Hey, buddy. You checking out the new thing? So cute. You better donate, buddy. Oh! <gasps> oh, no! No, and I don't have an extra one. Gosh darn it. Man... That was my fault completely. <laughs> I can't complain. Okay. Let's see what they have here. Oh gosh, Shep. I saw his little legs and I'm like, those look like people legs, what? <laughs> I can't focus on what I really need to buy. I keep looking at all the other stuff. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, music room wall. Arch window. Don't want that. Music room wall. Floral wall. Nope. <laughs> I could- the thing is, I could always get it from my other town, because it's from Copper's campsite, which I don't think Copper will be in my campsite anymore now that he's actually officially in the police station. I think it's only Booker who will come. But in my other town, it will be Copper who comes, so I could always take it from my other town. I probably already actually have it um, cataloged in my other town as well, I think. If it's even a catalog catalogable, that doesn't make it a, an item that I can catalog. <laughs> Yes, please. Oh, there we go. Didn't press A. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Leaf. Give me the, give me the, the axe already, please. Okay, so I'm gonna go plant this actually first. First off, before I forget, I'm gonna plant the tree after this. Hopefully, I don't forget because I usually tend to do stuff like that. <laughs> Okay. 
Your addition is finished, huh? Oh, Crystal, my friend, your home is that much homier now. So, it's time for business numbers. Alright, so it's gonna be 598. Okay, yep, perfect. Can't believe I actually remembered the number. Um. Oh gosh, I don't want any of this. <laughs> Not really my style. I really do need to change the exterior of my house, though. It doesn't really match the interior. Because I think I was originally going for the cabin theme, right? And this is definitely not the cabin theme I have. Okay. Um, so... Right here. I don't think... I think this should be fine. I don't think that tree on that other side is gonna bother or anything. Did it put down the right place? It did. Good. Okay. I think that'll look good. I'm gonna cut down this tree and put one here as well. I think. I don't know. Mm. I'm a little bit undecided on that. But uh, it should be a straight line up until about here. Ish. Actually, it's gonna be here. Because uh, this is sort of gonna start getting in the way but otherwise I like that I, I just need to start running over it a lot so that we can uh, create the the, uh, the dirt path there but that might take a little bit of time why am I going over here what was I doing I don't even remember. Um, let's go, <laughs> let's go grab a fruit of some sort. Uh, let's grab something we haven't given him before. Uh, sure. Why not? We probably have given him these before, <laughs> but that's okay. And by him, I mean shrunk, by the way, because we need to work on our emotes. Because I'm kind of lacking in a lot of them. <laughs> like, a lot of them. I brought a snack. Greetings, Dirk. Oh, wait, is this the wave? Oh my goodness. You see, the other day, as I was walking down the street, someone was walking my way and smiling. Huh? Who are they? Is what I thought to myself. All of a sudden, the person says, Long time no see. Oh, it is my joke. I figured it'd be rude not to respond, so I did a, Hey, long time no see. Right back. But then that person walked right past me and stopped to talk to someone walking behind me. I guess it's a bit longer... It'll be a bit longer until we see each other. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. I always use that greeting, because, like, you know, when I have uh, visitors come over to my town and everything? That should be, like, the first one you get, honestly. Okay, wait a minute. I need to rearrange my joke book. It took me forever to realize that you could do this. I did not know you could do that. So, I use this one, this one... This one, this one. Yeah, that's pretty good order. But yeah, the top line are the ones that I use all the time. <laughs> there we go. I think that's pretty much all the ones I actually really like anyway, so... Um, other than, like, obviously the Shrunk Shuffle, but as we know, or as most people should know, uh, we always get that one last. 
But anyways, guys, I'm probably going to have to end this episode here. I'm a little bit bummed that it's raining today, uh, but that's okay. So, next time I record, it should be Monday. Um, fingers crossed that it is not raining that evening, because, as you guys know, it's June, which means the tarantula has actually started spawning at night. I believe it's after 7 p.m., and uh, I usually film, like, between 7 and 8, maybe even later, so we'll be right on time for that. So we're probably going to have a couple episodes of me freaking out, trying to catch it, and failing miserably, probably. <laughs> I know I have a guide on how to do it, but, like, still, it's hard. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.